Well, we have talked with these two several times. We've got Tyson and Jackson with us. Hello. Hi, guys. How you doing, Jackson? Good. Now, Jackson, we've seen you at football camps, and now here you are at a basketball camp. Have you had a good time? Yes, ma'am. Now, Jackson, have you come to this camp before? No, ma'am. What did you think about it? It's fun. What did you learn out here? Um, um, trying to cover, um, um. Can you dribble? Yeah. And we have to, um, defense has to cover offense. Yes. Are you good at defense? Yes. Very good. All right, now, this is your daddy's camp, Tyson. How are you? Good. Now, Tyson, we see you all over the place. Yes, ma'am. Now, tell us, how many times have you been coming out here to the camp with your dad? Like five times. <laughs> and tell us, what have you learned? About not to travel. Yeah, run with the ball. Yes, ma'am. Do you travel sometimes? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and so, listen now, guys, we want to kind of get some other people to come out to this camp next year, all right? And so, Jackson, what would you tell them? What would you say? Um, hope you come back next year. <laughs> now, Tyson, what would you tell them about coming to your dad's camp? Please join my dad's camp. <laughs> You've heard it, ladies and gentlemen, from Tyson and Jackson. Thanks, fellas. This has been such a great day. We've got two more campers, and as you can tell, they're getting a little bit taller. How are you, young lady? I'm good. Good. Keep your head straight up and look right at them. Tell them all about you. Tell us who your family are. Uh, tell us where you go to school and things that you like to do. I go to Southwest. I'm in fifth grade. And my parents are Nadia Tucker, Randy Tucker. And Was that your little sister we just saw? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, uh, what kind of sports do you play? Dance. Tumbling. Mm -hmm. Basketball. Basketball. And you've come to this camp before? Mm -hmm. How many times have you come? This is your second time? Very good. What was your experience like? Learning how to do offense, defense, slam. Mm -hmm. Look at me. Here we go. Look. Now listen, what did you like the most about this camp? <laughs> Having fun. Having fun. Do you see a lot of the players, a lot of the kids that you already know? Very good. You think you come back next year? Mm-hmm. All right, very good. Hi, sir, how are you? Good. Introduce yourself to everyone. Tell us who your family is, where you go to school, and all that good stuff. Um, my family is Lorenzo Watkins and Karina Watkins, and I go to Southwest Lawrence. What grade are you going to be next year? Fifth. Now, were you already a basketball player? Yes, ma'am. How many years would you say you've been playing basketball? How old are you? Nine. You're nine. So did you start playing when you were probably like four or five? Like three. Oh, like three. Now, where do you get your basketball skills from? My dad. Is that your dad we're looking at right over there? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and now, what did you learn from this camp? Um, how to dribble, shoot, mm -hmm. and how to, all kinds of drills. All kinds of drills. Did you enjoy yourself? Yes, ma'am. Have you been here before? Yes, ma'am. All right. And you think you'll come again next year? Yes, ma'am. All right. Very nice. Nice to meet you and good meeting you, darling. Thank you. All right. We've got some fifth and sixth graders with us today, and they're going to talk about their experience here at the camp. You want to start first? Sure. All right. Talk to us. Um, my name is Zaylin Boston. Um, my mom's name is Tammy Boston, and my dad's name is Keith Boston. Mm -hmm. And. I have a brother named Tamaris Boston. And so where do you go to school? South, I mean, finna go to West Lawrence Middle School. Oh, you're about to be a middle schooler. Are you excited about that? And now, have you been to this camp before? We've been meeting some that have been here before. Yeah. How many times? One. And what do you like most about this camp? Mm. You enjoy the whole thing? Yeah. And the fact that it's free too, right? Yeah. All right. Hey, sir, how are you doing? Good. Introduce yourself if you would. My name is Cody Hutto, and I am the son of Clay and Mandy Hutto. Okay. And we're, what about you? And I have one sister. One sister. And her name is Molly Hutto. And you come come right here. Stay still for me. Uh, and tell us now, where are you going to school and what grade? I go to Southwest Lawrence Elementary, and I'm going to go 
to fifth grade. Fifth grade. And, and what do you play other sports besides basketball? I play soccer, baseball, and I want to play football. Very nice. Now, is there someone in your family that already plays basketball or played basketball? Um. Yeah, there. Now, what do you, you know, we want to ask you guys, like, what do you like most about this camp? And so, you know, you like everything. What do you like most about this camp? We can learn new skills. Learn new skills. Now, did you already have skills before today for this week? <laughs> You're just getting better and better, right? Okay, good to meet you, all right? Nice meeting you, sir. There are so many young men and young women out here today uh, for the camp, and some have been here two and three times. We've got two more with us. How are you? Good. Tell us who you are and tell us who your family is. My name is Jane Stanley and my family is Taya, uh, eight, a mama and Mima. And your Mima. And so listen, now where are you going to school in what grade? I go to South Residence Elementary and I'm going to third grade. Third grade. Now have you done this camp before? A lot of the kids have already done it before. Yes, ma'am. And what do you think about this camp? Mm. Do you like it? Yes, ma'am. And you know, we're asking the kids, like, what do you like most? And some of them can't even think about it. Um, tell us what you've learned from coming to this camp. Skills. Skills. Did you already have some skills? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> what, what are some of your skills you've got in playing basketball? Mm, I don't know. Can you dribble really well? Yes, ma'am. I see these wristbands. We used to wear these back in the 80s. I love that. All right, hey, how are you doing? Good. All right, why don't you talk to us all about you and tell us about some of the things that you're involved in, okay? My name is Devin, and, and I play sports. I play baseball, mm -hmm. soccer, and basketball and football. Very nice. You play a whole lot of sports. Now, which one's your main sport, you would say? Uh, soccer. Soccer, very good. Now, listen, now, some kids have been to this camp many times. What about you? Yes, ma'am. How many times? This would be my fourth year. Your fourth year. Now, how was it when you first came to this camp? I was a little frightened. Huh? I, I was a little scared. You were a little scared. Now, how is it for you now? I mean, this is your fourth year. And I got used to it now. Yeah, yeah. And so what skills have you learned? Dribble with my dribble with two balls with my head up. What? Okay, are you left-handed or right-handed? Right-handed. So you can dribble with your left hand? Yes, ma'am. Can you do a left-handed layup, too? I try. You do. try? Can you dribble between your legs yet? Yes, ma'am. All right, very good. Now, uh, you know, he's talking about all these skills that he's learned. What kind of skills did you already have? Jig moves and crossovers. Wait a minute. You've been doing trick moves? How old are you? Eight. How old were you when you first did your uh, trick move? Six. Six. So you've been doing that for about two years. I was Five, six, and seven. Five, six, and seven. So listen, guys, we want to kind of encourage some other kids to come out here to this camp next year because you guys have been coming out here. You've been enjoying yourself. You've been learning some new tricks, right? And now you can dribble with both hands. So give a message to the people out there to encourage them to come out next year. What would you say? What would you say to kind of tell them to come out here? Tell them they'd enjoy themselves? Yes, ma'am. And they'll learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. All right. What kind of message you want to tell some young guy out there that might think of coming in this camp? You can you can win prizes. <laughs> you can win prizes, and what else? Mm. What you've learned. You're learning new skills out here. You're playing with some kids that are older than you, right? Very good. So it's a pleasure meeting you. Pleasure meeting you, too. Nice meeting you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. At Bank of Dudley, we can make your mortgage experience a pleasurable one. We realize that this is the biggest financial decision most people ever make. The most critical step in purchasing a home is finding a loan that best suits your needs. And that's where we come in at Bank of Dudley because we know one size does not fit all. Our experienced mortgage professionals will come to you wherever you are. We're available at any of our five locations or we'll come to your business or home. Shirley Clements or Angel Johnson today creating you a custom mortgage experience with great rates and terms to fit your budget. Quick, honest, and simple. In our hurry? Apply online right now at bankofdudley.com. Bank of Dudley, East Dublin, Jeffersonville, Dudley, Veterans Boulevard, and Downtown Dublin. Member FDIC and an equal housing lender.
This spring, pick your power, fuel or battery, both available for the same great price. Right now, pick fuel power trimmers or the new steel lightning battery system trimmers. Prices starting at just $129.95. Or choose the professional clearing power of the BR350 backpack blower, just $299.95. Pick your power, then pick up a steel. Visit steeldealers.com. Cullen Supply and Engine Service, your steel dealer at 826 South Harris Street in Sandersville and 910 East Jackson in Dublin. You know, it's so wonderful to have great talent out here and great leaders and mentors. We've got Julius Jenkins with us. How are you, sir? I'm pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. Glad to have you out here, and we appreciate you uh, spending some time with these young ones here and working with them. Now, if you would, please tell us all about you, the things that, uh, how you started with your career and lead to where you are now. Well, from a, from a little boy, smaller than these kids today age, uh, my dad used to take me out to the courts when mm -hmm. he played, and. I, he told me I just used to run up and down the side of the courts. Right. And uh, from those days, he always said I was going to be a basketball player. Right. So it kind of just played all into what he mm -hmm. said. And uh, when I got older, these kids age, I stayed in the gym, just mm -hmm. working and working and working. Some things that I taught Marcos too. And uh, yeah. it just paid off in the end. Yeah. And I've been able to have a long professional career and a lot of, have a lot of good things, make a lot of money. And speaking of your career, tell us where you're at now. Right now I'm in uh, Germany at the mm -hmm. team Jena, yeah. Science City Jena, and um, mm -hmm. I signed for one more year there. And um, I might be ending my career after next season, but I'll see how I feel see how you're doing. after next season. And you know, Julius, you know, you see these young kids, the young kids that you're working with, and as you share about where you started from, mm -hmm. did you have those aspirations to be where you are today? That was one thing yeah. I always knew. I wanted to be a professional basketball player. Yeah. so. It was nothing that was going to stop me, nothing yeah. that was getting in the way. And um, I put in all the work to, yeah. to achieve that goal. That was my ultimate goal, mm -hmm. whether it was here or wherever. Right. So it paid off as a blessing. And you know, that work, that work ethic, you've got these boys right here, these young boys, young girls who want to go further. Yes. What word would you give them to really encourage them to go farther and what it requires? Well, first off, I just tell them to, to just be humble. Yeah. You always got to believe believe in yourself and uh, uh, just just do the right things. Yeah. Stay out of trouble and, and if you want to do something, work hard at that one thing and right. uh, it'll pay off in the end. That's right, that's yes. right. And here you are today. I mean, the relationship that you've built with Marcos and, and these kids today, yes. the things that you've instilled, what have you worked with them mostly on today? Well, we did a lot of fundamentals like yeah. uh, passing and dribbling mm -hmm. and uh, just uh, basic shooting yeah. and things like that. So You don't have a game without fundamentals. Right, right. And that's why I was trying to teach some of the younger guys, yeah. like, let's learn the fundamentals right. first, then we can go on to the crossovers and all that that's elaborate right. stuff. So. You know, they like to shake and jive. Yes, you know, yes, early yes. Because they see that. They, they see that and they want to emulate it. Yes. But you've got to have a strong foundation. Yes, and that's, that's natural for little kids to want to yeah. do that stuff. But it's important to learn those fundamentals that's first. Right. So that's what I was trying to give them today. Well, we appreciate you pouring into them. No and we, we wish you best the best with your career. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Julius Jenkins, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Now, they're learning some basic skills here, the fundamentals that are necessary for the game of basketball. We've got a couple of seventh graders, upcoming seventh graders with us. How are you, sir? Good. How are you? Doing very well. Please tell us all about you. Um, tell us who your family is out here and tell us the things that you're involved in, okay? Okay. I am Antoine Faustin. Mm -hmm. I am in the, I'm going to the seventh grade. I was, I am in West Lawrence Middle School. Very nice. Who's your family? My family is Anthony Foster and Sawanda Foster. Very good. Now listen here. You've got, I mean, you've already had some skills before you came out here, right? Yes, ma'am. How many times have you come to this camp? I've been here all the time, like four times. This is your fourth time. Now, when you first started, what was it like for you? I mean, it was like nervous for me. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't know all the people that was here. Yeah. And what about today? How's it been for you? Like, like it's been like pretty normal mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to me And now. so. What has been your experience? You know, you guys have been able to learn different skills. I mean, they're giving you free gifts. I mean, the food, I mean, games. What has been the highlight of you coming to this camp? That's a tough one, right? <laughs> You, you want me to come back to you on that one? Yes, ma'am. All right, we'll let him talk to us. How are you, sir? I'm doing good. All right, talk to us. Tell us all about you. Um, my name is Keandre Fortson. Mm -hmm. People, some people, they call me Kiwi because that's my nickname. Hey, Kiwi. Um, um, I love to play basketball. Mm -hmm. I go to West Lawrence Middle School. Mm -hmm. I was on the West Lawrence Middle School track team. Um, 
I just love basketball. Yeah. My favorite player is um, Stephen Curry. Very I've good. been watching him since I was five years old. Oh my gosh, that's and, very good. And um, I just strive to be the best I can be. Awesome, very good to have those aspirations, people that you look up to. And so the game of basketball, so you've been playing this all your life. Is there any of your family members that play ball? Um, my dad played. My dad played basketball whenever he was in um, high school. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm and you're tall too, so you are you a down low post? Yes, ma'am. Very good, very good. Now listen, guys. You see a lot of other fellows out here. Uh, some that you know, some that you don't. Some you're getting to know. What do you think it is that um, uh, that dr attracts people to come to this camp? I think it's like the fun and games mm -hmm. that we do. Mhm. Mm and like, like the, the spirit that like the coaches have, mm -hmm. you know. So. They got good spirits where they talk to you and work with you? Yes, sir. How have you improved as a player? Well, I learned how to like to shoot the ball correctly and like mm -hmm. pass. Yeah, having good form and stuff and how to pass. All right, now what have you learned from this camp? Well, to just keep working hard and yeah. just strive for greatness. Mm -hmm. That's right, and that's what you all have to do. Keep working hard and strive for greatness, okay? It's been a pleasure to meet you both. Thank you. Thank you both. All right, we've got East Lawrence Middle and West Lawrence Middle with us. How are you guys doing? Good. All right, listen, this is your opportunity to kind of tell us who you are, who your family is, uh, what grade you're going to, and talk about this game of basketball, okay? You ready? Yes, ma'am. All right. Talk to him. What do you want me to say? <laughs> tell us who you are and tell us your family and tell us, you know, why you come to this camp, how long you've been coming, okay? My name is Jacavion Wells. I, this is my first year coming to the camp. Mm -hmm. Who's your family? Talanda Pardo and Kevin Wills. And so listen, guys, this is your first year. You've got some, like some of the younger ones have been coming for four years. Uh, what has been your experience here? I always believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. Have you, uh, have you, th you think you're getting better as a player? Yes, ma'am. How long have you been playing? Since I was like five, six. Wow. About five years old. Now, I grew up playing on a dirt court. You ever played on a dirt court? Mm -mm. <laughs> That's when you know you've been playing for a while. We play, play barefoot and everything. Oh, no. Nah. I know, right? Things have changed since, yes, since I was little. <laughs> Very good. Hey, darling. Hey. Talk to us. My name is Alexis Reed, and my hey. parents are Monica Reed and Gregory Reed. Mm -hmm. What else? What sports do you play outside of basketball? I play I play soccer and I also run track. Wow. So what's your main sport? Basketball. Basketball. What position are you? Point guard. Oh, honey, that was me. What is it that you think is key for a point guard, the skills that you're going to need to be a good point guard? To make sure that you don't hesitate when you get the ball and make sure you drive to the basket. That's right. Would you get nervous? Yes, ma'am. The thing is about a point guard now, I mean, all eyes are on you. You're going to have to really make it happen. You're going to run that play. You're going to have to execute. And so were you nervous out here today at all? A little bit. A little bit. You saw your family and stuff out here? <laughs> Very good. Hey, sir, now listen. She's a point guard. What position are you? The point guard and shooting guard. Point guard and shooting guard. You got a good skills at shooting? Mm, not, not that much. Did you just answer for him? <laughs> and so, um, no, are you shooting three-pointers yet? I can, but I don't do it. You don't do it? You kind of keep it closer in the paint or something yeah. like that? How are you good with your passing? Um, Still working on it? Yeah. Still working yeah. on it. Mm -hmm. Now, have you been to this camp before? Um, I came on the last day last year. Last year. Now, you think you guys will want to come back next year? Yes, ma'am. All right, well, listen, we need you to give some people the message out there. I've been asking the young ones to kind of say something to encourage, like, other girls other young men to come and take part of it. This is a free camp. I mean, that's really a blessing, and it was like over 100 kids here. Uh, give them a message of why you think they should come out to this camp next year. You ready? Okay. You'll get better when you come to this camp. Yeah, you'll get better. It'll help you learn more things during basketball season and help you want to encourage yourself to play basketball. That's right, that's right. And we appreciate you both for talking with us, and we're glad you're here. Hope to see you next year. Thank you, guys. All right, we've got some upcoming freshmen here at East Lawrence, two basketball players already. Yes, how are you girls? Good. Now, listen, we need you to tell us about yourself, okay? Now, you played middle school as well? Yes, ma'am. Talk to us. <laughs> I played middle school basketball with um, Coach Lothar, and I also played softball at East Lawrence with him. Very good. Now, tell us who you are and your family. 
My name is Christian Hubbard, and my parents are Stephanie and Calvin Hubbard. Yes. Graduated with your dad, know your mom, love your family. Now, who have you taken after in basketball? Who would you say has been your influence? My mother. Very good. That's played against your mama. <laughs> All right. How are you? Good. Talk to us. My name is Ja'Kaya Hollinsworth. I'm the daughter of Kanisha Hollinsworth and Sam Hollinsworth. And I play basketball in my middle school years, and mm -hmm. I ran track. Now listen girls, you're getting ready for high school ball. Are you excited about that? Are you nervous? Or how do you feel about it? It's just like middle school. I'm just one step further. You're right. It's going to change a little bit, okay? With every level you go, it's going to change a little bit for you, okay? And the coaches are definitely going to keep pushing. you got uh, Ramona Edwards as your coach, right? And um, Charlene James. Tell us what you're expected. What are your expectations when you're playing high school ball? I expect them to push me more, to play more, and to play more aggressive. Mm -hmm. That's right. They're going to do that. Now, have you come to this camp before? No, ma'am. This is your first time. What was the experience for you like? Uh, I learned better techniques for basketball and how to play better defense. Mm -hmm. What position are you already? Point guard. Ooh, I have a special heart for point guards. <laughs> and you know, what is the key to being a great point guard in your words? Ball handling. You have okay. to have good handles with the basketball. Good handles. Your handles are pretty good? I see. <laughs> Very good. All right. Now listen, what position are you? I play post. Post. You pretty strong down there? Yes, ma'am. Oh, I can tell the way you looked at me. You like you didn't know. And so um, this camp for you, what are some of the things that you're taking away from this that will help you later? Well, I played with the boys, so that made me get tougher mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. And how to shoot better. Yeah, that's right. And you know, growing up playing with boys, that's who we play with is boys. It's gonna make you tougher. It's gonna make you stronger. And so coming to a camp is essential to help you. What message do you want to give to some girls out there, you know, to encourage them to come to this camp to improve um, their skills as an athlete? You ready? Talk to us. Uh, they really need to come because they can learn a lot more skills. It'll help them when they play uh, in high school and middle school girls. Mm -hmm. It'll make them tougher. They'll already be like... They'll already be a certain way when they come here. And if they're like you and play with boys... You'll get tougher. That's right. Hang tough, girl. Nice to meet you, girls. Look forward to seeing you out there on the court upcoming season. Thank you. Thank you. This has been such a great day. I mean, having the opportunity to see everyone out here on the courts, learning new skills, doing different drills. And we've got two more with us right here. How are you doing? Good. Talk to us about yourself. Uh, my name is Roger Cates. Uh, I go to Dublin High School. I'm going to be a night grader. About uh, to be a freshman. Uh, my mother name is Shannon Cates. My granddad name Kenneth Cates. Mm -hmm. uh, How many times have you come out here, Elijah? Four. Four times. And and what would you say your experience has been? Good. Been I got good? better. You're getting better each year? Very good. And this one right here, Drake. What's up, Drake? What's up, Lupex? My name is Drake Walker. And I'm going to the um, high school this year. I'm going to be going to the ninth grade. Mm -hmm. and my parents are Bernita Walker and Derek Walker. Mm -hmm. And I play football, basketball, and baseball. And Drake, here you are out here. How long have you been coming out here? Four years. Four years. Now, and a lot of kids are telling us when they first started, they were a little bit nervous. What about you? I wasn't nervous. You were good? And so how has that been for you each year? I, mean, I got better. You got better? Every year. Mm -hmm. That's right. And would you all recommend this camp to someone else for next year? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Tell us why. I mean, it's better than being in the house all day and getting fat. <laughs> That's right. You can come out here and lose some weight. And learn some skills. Yes, right? ma'am. Uh, just come learn the fundamentals. Mm -hmm. Get better. That's right, because fundamentals are key. All right, anything else? No, ma'am. Pleasure seeing you both. Thank you. you.